Hello, ladies and gentlemen, some more news from GDC 2019, and this is coming from Algorithmic. Now, you may recall recently, Algorithmic was purchased by Adobe, and I actually have a bit of an update on that following this video. But first off, we are covering a new product. So Algorithmic is, Algorithmic is most known for uh, Substance Painter and Substance Designer, as well as B2M. Now, Substance Painter and Designer are all about creating PBR or physically based rendering textures. So it's uh, commonly supported by just about every game engine out there, and they are one of the most dominant ways of creating textures in this day and age. What they're adding is another product to that staple of products. This one is Substance Alchemist. It's been out for, it was announced about a year ago, but as of today, it is available in open beta. So what exactly is Substance Alchemist? Alchemist. Well, let's go from the press release first, and then I'll give you the TLDR version. Substance Alchemist advances the art of making and managing 3D materials through instinctive simplicity. Creators can rely on a powerful streamlined workflow and an intuitive user interface. It's simple, fast, and uses some of the most advanced technology around by hiding its complexity through easy-to-use tools like parametric sliders and filters. Project Substance Alchemist, Alchemist brings efficiency to artists and designers without giving up any of the power that helps them thrive. All right, that tells you absolutely nothing, does it? Well, basically what it is, is a tool for bringing scans in and making them work. So for doing things like um, pulling a material out of a scanned image. So if you just wanted the texture from a coat, for example, or the fabric there, this can be used to do that. If you want to normalize lighting, it can be used to do that. It's basically a texture grabber I, in, in a glorified way. Plus all the tools to make things work more consistently are there. So we'll scroll down here a little bit more. Substance Alchemist puts powerful tools into the hands of artists who work with scans with quick and reliable tiling, as well as an AI powered delighter. No idea, OD dash lighter, so light remover. Trained with thousands of images, the delighter can instantly balance the shadow and light tied to photos and scans so that light remains even and consistent. Designers who need to iterate rapidly on a material can enjoy um, a vast array of variations with instant creation of material collections based on a single image or mood board. Project Substance Alchemist can analyze the artist's material and automatically generate suggestions on color and textures, ensuring compatibility and additional creation options. So this is uh, available as a standalone product, but it is part of the Alchemist or of the Substance ecosystem. It is available as part of your subscription if you are already in Substance. It is um, available for download today for subscribers. Now, sadly, I wanted to demonstrate this, so I um, grabbed the latest trial and I switched over to the Substance Alchemist tab and I get this lovely video, but nothing more. So it seems you need to have an active subscription to get a hold of it. There is no 30 day demo or trial of Alchemist that I can demonstrate to you today, which is a bit unfortunate. But what I can do is show you over at their site their details. So basically, this is the Substance Alchemist homepage. Um, Projects Alchemist Alchemist, we kind of covered a little bit of this already. Uh, create and iterate on material collections. In, um, intuitive simplicity helps you build vast material libraries. You can see them at the bottom here. You can tweak and exist mixing materials together. Um, bring elements together to create a new fully parametric material. Now again, this looks a whole lot like Quixel Mixer that I covered just the other day. Um, extract new materials from scans. So this is what I was talking about. When you want to pull uh, a, a tiled material that you can use as a, you know, a seamless texture from a picture, this gives you the ability to do it and normalize the light and create these very handy um, usable textures from source images. And it's got the tools to help and make it work for you. Import and use filters. Create your filter in Substance Designer. So you got integration into the Substance Designer filters. Import and use the filter in Substance Alchemist, as you can see here. Um, you can download community-made filters for Project Substance Alchemist on Substance Share. Um, learn how to use Project Substance Alchemist in this video here. So if you do want more on their page, they have some videos. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it in action because I don't have access to it right now. I may, if there's enough interest, try to get a um, reviewer copy if you guys really want to see this in action. But they do have videos up. So if you want to jump in and get a bit more detail, it is out there. Okay, so as I mentioned on top of that, there is a bit of an update too that Substance joined Adobe and a lot of people aren't really happy about that acquisition. Um, one of the big reasons is because Adobe is all about software rental. They don't sell anything outright anymore. They want everyone to join part of their creative cloud. So the assumption is that Substance is going to be folded into a subscription only model. Um, now, the most important part of this blog post that they made a few months back is this part right here. 
So since the acquisition, we have heard lots of questions from our community about licensing and pricing. Our goal with licensing and pricing has always been to be fair to everyone. And in all honesty, Algorithmic has always been very forward and upright and honest with the way they have done licensing. They have been a standout company. And again, I think that's part of the reason why so many people are mourning their acquisition by Adobe. So uh fair to everyone and we're continuing that philosophy we're planning to introduce new offerings later this year but until then our licensing and pricing structure will not change read between the lines things are changing later this year however these future offerings will be primarily subscription based yeah okay, that sounds like adobe but we will continue to offer indie perpetual licenses and i think that is actually the big one the indie perpetual license is the one for developers that make less than a hundred thousand dollars a year if you buy it on steam or if you're paying something like 199 a month then you sorry 199 a year then you're talking about the indie perpetual licensing and i think those that's the demographic that is most affected by the perpetual license change a lot of the other people are you know big studios and they've already got a creative cloud subscription for the most part so they're kind of hitting the big group there so they will continue to offer indie perpetual licenses we believe that when content and services are offered in a subscription package uh evolve and improve at a steady space at a steady pace the subscription model is the best way for us to innovate fast and continuously improve our tools and bring you more value uh they're there they're happy to stay and uh so on and so forth so basically the substance team is saying the following subscriptions are coming and they're changing slightly the perpetual license for indie developers isn't changing and that they're happy at Adobe. Uh, now, the kicker is they're also no longer their own master. So it's lovely that they are saying all this. And I, I do like to hear this. And I think uh, other people currently subscribing to those packages are going to be happy to hear this. But at the end of the day, Adobe is the overlord now, and they make the final say. So hopefully Substance actually does have this level of autonomy, but the one thing I, I can see them not having control over is pricing. So it'd be interesting to see how history bears this out, but ultimately this is reasonably good news to hear. Actually, and I'm curious to hear what you think down below. What do you think of Alchemy, and what do you think of this announcement? Does it put your fears to rest a little bit, or are you still pretty apprehensive that Adobe has taken over, or did you never care in the first place that Adobe bought them out? Love to hear it all comments down below and talk to you all later goodbye